This is uh, Garden Cottage. The garden uh, was the first land site in Scotland, so the first place to be recognised as a professional demonstration of what permaculture is all about. As an example of permaculture in practice in a quite northerly temperate climate with the same latitude as Alaska, Moscow, places like that. This garden is 0.2 of an acre, that's 0.1 of a hectare, and last year produced more than a metric tonne of food on about two days a week input. But it's a constant bird song. There are 35 species of bird that nest in this garden, 35 that come for their lunch and another 20 that come on their holidays. Fertility is created from within the garden. There's a few exceptions to that. Composting, mulching, and this fantastic mix of invertebrates and birds. What that does is it gives us a place where other people can come and learn about lots of different things. Forest gardening is a key one. Permaculture design overall is another one. But mostly it's about how much control can you take of your own needs as a family, as a household, uh, from your own resources and that's what we really try to work with people about. When we started um, it's pretty hard to imagine looking at the garden now um, but 24 years ago moving on to 25 years next year there was pretty much nothing here. You can see pictures of it as it was on our website which was basically a flat field. We started at the kitchen door and worked outwards. It takes a while for it to become as productive as you would like it to be, but the processes of making it dynamic, which is things like building soil fertility, are constantly going on. And that's something you're paying attention to, attention to all the time. For me, in terms of what makes permaculture different, is it's a very long-term view. Um, you can't change things quickly, but conversely, you can change them quicker than a lot of people think. So this garden is 25 years old. It's a mature forest. That's what it looks like to me. That's you know less than half somebody's lifetime on average. Yeah, in, in 1990, I, I wrote my first book about permaculture, The Permaculture Way, which is about trying to translate Mollison's work for a temperate climate and for the culture that goes with it. As well as saying, what is permaculture all the time? People were always saying, oh, you mean like organic gardening? And I would say, no, 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 it's, like, it's a design system. Uh, and then one day I saw the light and I wrote a book called The Permaculture Garden. And it says in the introduction, this is kind of a parable. If, if this is the gateway to it, if this is what makes it easy for you to understand it, then by all means come to permaculture through gardening. But at the end of the day, it's about how you design for all human needs and leave the world at least as healthy and as well off as you found it after you. Um, and gardening is a great way into that, but it isn't what permaculture is. However, by gardening, it's a great way to learn how the principles work in action. Mm -hmm.